Full Metal Alchemist vs. Hitman Reborn, Naruto vs. Bleach, One Piece vs. Dragon Ball, and Hunter x Hunter vs. Fairy Tale. But in the end, there can only be one. It's pretty apparent to see that the shonen genre of anime is insanely popular and has been crazy influential for the growth of anime. But which of these classic series reigns supreme as the best classic shonen? And when it comes to these series, we have a few things to consider. The fights, the story, the music, the characters. If you guys enjoyed this video and we get, let's say, 1,000 likes on it, we will oh, have a follow-up video tweeting. on the best modern shonen. However, before we begin, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, a super fun RPG oh, with classic. over 10 million okay. players worldwide. It has yeah, great classic. graphics, strategic modern. gameplay, okay, huge okay. personally right, deep love joy it. It. for it. Well, you can find special link player A's. Let's get into it. Full Metal Alchemist is easily considered one of the best series in anime history. Okay, FMA versus what? Though? That's why Brotherhood has more or less been on the top of Mao's list since it came out. It follows the Elric brothers on their journey across the Mestris to find a Philosopher's Stone, a magic item that bypasses the rules of the world and that could restore their bodies. The story through both the original series and Brotherhood is honestly amazing. And while Brotherhood is often considered the strong favorite, I think the original is really awesome in its own way. The idea of homunculus being the result of human transmutation was a really nice touch that I think most people forget about. In terms of the fights, for such a simple concept, the fights are honestly amazing. Each alchemist can manipulate the world around them by rearranging the matter in their surroundings, with each alchemist having a material or element that they seem to lean back on. This results in people using very simple attacks like Mustang's fire, Armstrong's stone, Edward's metal, so on and so forth. What However, the, the flair and personality that is given to these characters' battle techniques is unlike many other shows. It's the little things, like Mustang snapping his fingers to create a spark, Armstrong literally turning the stones into statues of himself, and Edward turning his metal arm into a blade that just makes for these truly immersive characters and battles. And when it comes to music, I mean, let me just play three seconds of absolute awesomeness for you guys. I watched this so long ago, I ain't even put two and two together that these niggas all had different alchemy based off like certain things. I didn't even know that. I ain't gonna lie. I did, didn't even that oh, you to get How much you wanna keep listening? To get the music though, is bomb. So overall, Fulmetal Alchemist, is it overhyped? Probably, but I think the series has a lot going for it. Memorable characters, great fights, best, a solid overhyped, story, either. and a killer soundtrack. It's and its crazy. first opponent today is Hitman Reborn. I don't think it's Reborn crazy. is about a boy named Suna who I'll definitely pick it over this in though. line to become I've the never boss seen this though, so. of the Vongola Mafia That's Familia. He starts off really timid against the idea yeah, entirely. But watching him grow into a man that can lead the family was honestly amazing. And yeah, what makes this it even better like is the family itself. This show has one of the best cast of supporting characters I've seen since One Piece. And as a character-driven anime fan, this show was right up my alley. Now I could go on and on You're about Reborn, the series fan. is solid. I don't think it has like great Naruto, and memorable sure. characters, if he says that and the and fights like can Naruto, be pretty sweet too. However, the show has these the slow periods, like the first 30 episodes, this, for this example, that can really feel like a damper on the series. For a lot of people, yeah, it can be hard to get into. If you haven't seen it yet, I definitely suggest drudging through the rough start because it really is worth it. But come on, it's Full Metal Alchemist we're talking about here. As good as Reborn can be, it just doesn't quite yeah. hold up. Yeah. So on that okay. note, Full Metal Alchemist advances okay. to the next round. Okay. Naruto versus Bleach. Okay. Oh god, here we have the kings of what the hell was that ending. Naruto is the story of a young boy People don't who like has Bleach a monster ending? called the nine-tailed fox inside of him and is ostracized oh, and killed by those I around him. Oh, I didn't watch that forth. last arc. I was keen to this, watch that with the new, the new thing, the new uh, and earn season coming out. I forgot. I never watched that last Along the way, he battles the Sonny, Orochimaru, the rogue ninja of the Akatsuki, the legendary Madara, and some space alien rabbit chick who ruined the series. I feel like the war arc is a little overrated, and on top of the battle, Naruto's fight system is chakra, a type of life energy that can allow its users to manifest fire, Best. lightning, Not wind, really etc. and produce powerful attacks as a result. But regardless, the show has some god-tier moments. Rock Lee vs. Gara, Madara vs. the Shinobi Alliance, Sasuke vs. Itachi, Naruto vs. Pain. Like, the show has some really great things going for it. One other really top-tier thing about it is the music. Specifically, the sad music can hit you like a the truck. Music is and the music used to hype you up are level. masterpieces. And while the music might be memorable, it doesn't stand a candle to the characters. Okay. Like Itachi, Jiraiya. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, I thought I I knew he didn't like Naruto, but I didn't know if he was okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Gara, Shikamaru, okay. Kakashi. There are so many iconic characters okay. in this show. But don't get me wrong. While Naruto Absolutely has a lot not. going for it, holy hell, does it have some flaws? Filler episodes make up about forty percent of the seven hundred episodes. I get it, bro. Y'all niggas love this filler point, but nigga, when you are watching a show, you're literally showing that you can just easily skip every single one of those so you don't have to even worry about that i mean like i i don't get it bro like are you niggas like are you niggas watching the filler like are y'all watching the filler if y'all watching the filler let me know if y'all watching the filler y'all taking y'all time to watch these shits okay i watched them the first time because i didn't even know what that was but like if y'all watching it okay y'all got it bro. Series. Got even it. some parts that aren't saying, filler feel doing, super slowly it, paced as well y'all got it the goddamn ninja war arc which made me drop the series like four times, by the way. Like, there are just so many parts of the show that let you down, it can be overwhelming at times. But overall, the show is a great experience, and unless I'm focusing on the negatives, I tend to think of the good moments first. Its opponent today is Bleach. Bleach follows the story of Ichigo Kurosaki and his journey to follow Aizen's master plan. He becomes a Shinigami, really gets a massive like that, sword so. that becomes a smaller it's sword, a he saves the best girl Rukia, and he finds out though. he isn't just half human, half Shinigami, but he is actually half of everything. As far as awesome sword fights go, Bleach has you covered. Great abilities like ice, awesome children's games, fights. or just being a big sword. Bleach definitely got Cute better girls sword everywhere, fights. and some of the coolest villains of all time. Tell me you don't love Ukiora and Aizen. You can't. It's physically impossible. Honestly, Bleach was a hell of a ride. But I think it's even more inconsistent than Naruto. And that ending, ugh. So overall, the story is great when it's good, and rough when it isn't. The Soul Society arc is to this day my favorite shonen arc of all time. One insane battle after another, a cool training part where Ichigo learns his Bankai, the reveal of his Bankai, and even better, the reveal of Aizen's master plan. Plus, the music is truly amazing, even better than Naruto's, in my opinion. I don't know about that, but I don't know. A lot of people love the, uh, the music. Between these two Beach. series, they both have a lot of the same good and poor parts. But sadly, I think Naruto is actually a little bit more consistent, and I do think the nostalgia factor is just barely kicking Naruto into the winning position. However, this was I think I know one winning one. out of these sides. I would go one Next piece. Next up, we have One Hunter Piece Hunter. and Dragon Ball Z. So, Dragon Ball follows Goku as he saves the world from the Saiyans taking on the dictator Frieza, the perfect life form Cell, and Majin Buu. He gonna say Full Metal and Alchemist Super, probably beat Naruto off the ending about. alone. I ain't gonna lie, Full Metal Alchemist I think when it comes to characters, Dragon Ball has mostly very no plain cat. ones. Like Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, That's and no 90% of the Z Fighters kind of fade away into uselessness. The only ones who really matter as the story progresses are the Saiyans and sometimes Piccolo. You could've that said the said, same thing with Naruto though, bro. You could've said... Uh, Uchiha's and people with sharing guns was the only people that mattered besides Naruto at a certain point. Like, a lot of those people didn't really matter no more. You a lot that. of the villains, despite being evil for the sake of being evil, are actually no pretty on, great, which cut. more than makes up for it. Everything in Dragon Ball Z is on a grand scale. You lose, say goodbye to your planet bro, or even the universe, is, and this scale makes for some crazy epic fights. Music in the series is pretty okay. I wouldn't say it's anything special, but it's all right. And as far as the story, I mean it technically exists. The story is very generic, introducing a big bad guy, heroes progress yeah, through a hate when you say of weaker story, opponents and train generic, until like, they are about on even for anime show, It really it just is, comes bro. down to Goku wanting to fight buff boys a lot of the time though. What we are all really watching for like is the fights. To the hand-to-hand -hand stuff, hand stuff is what shines the most. But half of the time, it comes Especially down to two things. Dragon Ball, First effects on like screen OG, like because characters crazy. are I'm fighting sorry, faster than the Dragon Ball Z is good see, though. Or beam struggles, which I don't let's agree be real, with Dragon Ball is just Z. them standing there and yelling. But what Dragon Ball does extremely well is making moments matter. You don't really remember fights so much as these big iconic moments. Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time. Gohan defeating Cell. Trunks slicing up Frieza. When it comes to making moments feel big, DBZ has you covered. And they are against One Piece. Oh, bro, the long-stretching, unintended story waste of Monkey D. Luffy joints. taking on the world as he tries to waste become the king of the pirates. Nah, keep to do this, them. he must build a crew and travel waste across the dangerous points. Grand keep Line until he finds the One Piece. 
I think one of the story's biggest strengths is the characters. You genuinely feel like you're part of the crew and one of the Straw Hats family when you watch this show. And after a million and a half episodes, you damned well better. And everyone wears their dreams on their sleeves. You know Zoro wants to be the strongest swordsman, Sanji wants to find the all blue, Nami wants to draw a map of the world. Everyone is distinct, tangible, and genuine. The other amazing part of One Piece is the world building. We spend about 100 episodes on each new island, so we learn about every bit of the culture. Geography, which is everything by the way, society, and history the country has to offer. We learn the dynamics between the marines, the citizens, the pirates, and the government. We know how just about every inch of the world works, and yeah, that's that something really astonishing, good, and makes honest. an adventure that around the world good, all the more bro. immersive. Where well, the really show falls short is like, the pacing. Don't really Once talk Koei about the took natives. over, the show was slowed down a lot, and sometimes you really feel it. Okay, so when but did, to when did that, Toei to take over? When did they take over? The characters are great, the abilities are fun, music they is take top over? tier, and everything comes together in an did awesome they not way. Always ha the show can make you laugh, make you cry, or make you feel genuinely warm inside. Somebody let me know when I that really happened. I really think when it did has Toei something for everyone, and just has infinitely more depth than Dragon Ball Z. So of course, it is moving on. Yeah. Next up, we have Hunter x Hunter vs. Fairy Tale. This is by far the easiest matchup yeah. for me. Fairy yeah. Tale is a fun story that includes some really cool magic. I wouldn't say but there just I mean, isn't I've never seen all that Fairy much Tale, to it so. for a lot of the story. I haven't seen. It's like uh, a C plus anime what's it called? That full and metal Alchemist time skip. Either, though, and so while just about everything that happens after the skip is really great, so I've heard, I actually ended up dropping the series. But even when I ask fairy tale fans who have seen both series, they prefer Hunter x Hunter. It is hard to justify it beating Hunter x Hunter. That being said, I want to mention a few moments in fairy tale to give it a fair shake. I asked my editor Axel to help me out. We have Urza vs 100 monsters, Grey vs Silver, Juvia and Grey, and tons more. Honestly, it has hype moments of DBZ factor, but its characters are more fun. And when it comes to music, this show has the most stylized on the list, and arguably some of the best. The show is fine overall, and both I, I Nux and my so editor swear it's a decent no show, natural. but come on, it's but Hunter the, Hunter. Imagine it being which for those of you who don't know, is about a boy named Gon Naruto? getting his Hunter license Bleach? in order to find his father. Characters are phenomenal. Some of my favorites are Kalua, Karapika, Krolo, Hisoka, and Meruem. But that's not to say that there aren't a slew of other amazing people in the series. The music is good, and it's hard to say I any part watch of the show is bad. Like though, the York New City arc and the Chimera Ant arc might be two of the greatest arcs in all of anime, and Wednesdays. they end up making up the majority of Hunter x Hunter. And that isn't even getting into the fight system, Nen. Like Each character has an affinity for a different type of Nen that is manifested through their own personality. It's this really awesome system with abilities like the lightning fast god mode, chains that were used to subdue the phantom troop, and the surprisingly useful bungee gum, which if you didn't already know has the properties of both rubber and gum. The music has a great feel to it, the fights are super fun and satisfying, the characters and stories are phenomenal, I everything this about so the show much. just I'm feels amazing, I hate this and that's why I Hunter x Hunter so is advancing to the next round. Like, he's so going me. into the semifinals, I'm we have honest. Full Metal Alchemist versus Naruto and One Piece versus Hunter x Hunter. And you guys all know the drill by now, the, the first rounds? round is a lot of detail, and now that you guys know what's up with the competitors, we're gonna fly through this. Okay, Full Metal see. Alchemist versus through. Naruto is let's super easy for me to decide. Naruto has some great moments, but Full Metal Alchemist super is a easy. near He's crazy anime. It doesn't have a 200 plus episode war arc, and on top of that, where Naruto has a trash ending, Full Metal Alchemist has well, not one, but two killer endings, yeah, and if it I, all wasn't enough, facts. Boruto. Just... Uh, Boruto, I mean, man. Boruto, Either yeah, way, Full Metal close. Alchemist takes this Beyond, easily. Count Boruto, one Piece versus Rick Hunter Hunter. Close. Okay, so this one is a lot harder. Fact. One Piece Rick is one Boruto, of my favorite anime, close. and I, I love all of it. The characters, their again. ambition, their friendship, the world, the hype moments. I love everything about it. However, I think Hunter Hunter is an objectively better anime. Okay. So we're not getting crazy. Okay. This is what I expected. I'm gonna be honest. This is what I expected. If we're gonna be unbiased... I expected Hunter x Hunter to win. I feel like he will. He kind of won't. Uh, One Piece to win, especially yeah. after hey. One Piece's time skip. Pre time skip, One Piece takes this, in my opinion. There are so many. Okay, pre time skip. Okay, so apparently, I'm not the only one. 
Okay, I'm not the only one that thinks post time skip is a that big happen drop all the off. time. After but Marine skip, four, I, I haven't messed with a lot. One Piece at all. And while a lot of like, badass all, stuff happens, tougher tougher Hunter Hunter is just not I originally awesome. watched One Piece. Like, let's just compare arc, this to Naruto I was for a second. By actually Naruto nuts, had an arc that, that takes up a third the best of the episodes and was done horribly. Time. Hunter Hunter's so, Chimera Ant arc also takes up a third of the show and it elevates things watch. to a higher Significantly level. Tougher watch, this this actually, is... Uh, uh, oh man, this is actually frustrating. But I think I have to give it to Hunter Hunter. All around, the show is just done better. That being said, I still like One Piece way more. In the finals, we have Full Metal Walkers. So yeah, admit, one, he likes One Piece more. So I'm gonna be honest, Hunter x Hunter. I feel like um, if you go toe to toe, One Piece versus Hunter x Hunter, One Piece has a lot more arcs. But I would say Hunter x Hunter has some hit or miss arcs for me as well, just like One Piece for me. Um, but I would say Hunter x Hunter is better. I probably would. I, I probably like um, Chimera Ant. And Marine Four on that same level, so. Versus Hunter Hunter, 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 Hunter needs I to genuinely get, like, love both these series. Apparently, the next Hunter Hunter's Den system better. is phenomenal. It has some of the best but villains in all of anime. The, the main question. cast of characters are solid. The music is good, and the story comes together really well. That being said, a lot feels, and to be fair, is left undone and incomplete at the end. Because the anime was cut off, Kurapika's story never finished. Mm. And neither did Leorio's, Krolo's, Hisoka's, and even Gon's is left in an iffy spot. Mm. Like he meets his dad, but it didn't feel that great. Whereas Fullmetal Alchemist just feels more complete in every way. Mm. When it comes to fights, you can look at my Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie I'm definitely picking Hunter x Hunter over Fullmetal. Like, I, I, even with, like, I'm gonna be honest. I watched all these around the same time. Naruto, then I watched both Full Metal Alchemist, then I watched Hunter x Hunter. I watched all these around the same time. I watched DBZ all around the same time. I didn't watch uh, One Piece around the same time, but I watched Bleach around the same time as well. I can easily, handily say I enjoyed Naruto the most, then Hunter x Hunter, then Full Metal Alchemist. And it was very easy, even with uh, Hunter x Hunter Alphonse not being finished. Alphonse versus Pride and Kim Lee. And this one I first Edward watched. Edward versus Father. For a fairly short to series, Full Metal especially Alphonse. in contrast to the rest I've of this list, it Hunter has a lot of amazing fights. And better. I think as a whole, I like the characters so, yeah. a little bit more than Hunter x Hunter as well. Ed is one of the coolest protagonists of all time. So I don't agree Mustang with that, but is I guess a beast. It's both Alex but I didn't and even Olivia really, uh, Armstrong catch are perfection, the fact that, uh, father, they Hohenheim, had, like, separate, truth, like, greed, with the a lot of them are just unforgettable. I think the show just I think comes I did together catch that. in a more complete to and fulfilling way been a while, than so really anything else on the list. That on that note, Full Metal Alchemist wins. So I, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more. And that, my friends, is the end. But yeah, um, that's going to be pretty much the end of that tournament. I feel like... It's a W if we being unbiased. It's a W. But some things I just didn't agree with. Personal opinions. But I ain't gonna lie. Opinion is an opinion. So yeah, if you guys want more of these anime videos, reactions, brackets, tier lists, whatever it is you want, put that in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Like always say help the hours. All I ask, share this video. Anybody think will help. But yeah, without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. That's it, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!